Hey Libra, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your dream girl, Mirage. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to your Cancer Season reading. One of these days I will do an actual like, what is it, like a montage, not montage, like a title sequence, yeah, but we'll see. I, I need to know how I want it to look. I, I, I'm not trying to be basic with it, all right? I gotta go all in. It's for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, hey, how you doing? So it's still, yes, you're not tripping. It is still airy season, but um, I got my itinerary for when I am actually about to go work my job. I leave Sunday and I will be on the Mississippi River until further notice. So it's a six month contract. I might not be going all throughout the exact amount of six months time, but um, I'll try to still, you know, upload what I can. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to pack any of my tarot cards. I'll try, but they really want us to pack the essentials and I don't want my suitcase to get to a point where I have to check it in, I, you know. So <clears throat> we're going to get started with your Monology Manifestation. Libra, I'm being told to tell you as I'm shuffling this deck. Be aware that some people just want you for what suits them at this time. Don't, like, really read between the lines. Like, listen to what people are telling you, how they're telling you, and when they show up. Because maybe, again, like, they want to fool you into, oh, I'm, I'm interested in you. But when in reality, it's more so like, I just want to see if I can get you. Be, beware. Like, listen to what people are saying, how they act. I, I'm saying this because, like, I'm going through that lesson, too. My dark moon is sectioned in Libra. So, I feel like this is something synergetically we are meant to bounce off of each other. That's why I said that. All right. You have new moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. You're having a breakthrough. But it's like there's a hesitance in actually going all the way through. You know when you get a piercing and they tell you like after some time, A, like you got to clean it. And then when you're ready to change it out to like something more glamorous. I got my nose stood in, but um you know they 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 teach you how to put in a new piercing and then you struggle with it because it won't go in it, you know you're also this is the first time you're probably doing it or maybe this the material of the ring or jewelry is like bigger smaller like there are some things that it's awkward at first but with enough pressure and just going through it like that's how you get a piercing they don't Oh, God, does this hurt? Does this hurt? It, they have to suck it up just like you do and let the needle just do its thing. They're not trying to kill you. They're just giving you what you asked for. So maybe this is just what it is. If you want whatever you're trying to manifest to become a reality, you got to dig. You got to go. You got to see it through. I'm trying to not go. You got to dig a little deeper. I'm going to watch that tonight, especially because I'm going to be in New Orleans when I land. Oh my God, I'm so excited for all that food, y'all. Ah. Okay, so we're going to take one card from the Mermaid Tarot deck to do the overall theme of this reading. Damn. Okay, I can't, it's like I just can't get one for you. Oh, no. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. I think it was Cancer that had this as well. I'm not, I can't remember. Someone had it. I'm almost positive it was Cancer who had it. But some of you could be expecting. Some of you are standing sturdy to your cause. That's how it was worded to me. Meaning there's an investment and you, you don't care if you're the only one doing it. Like you're going to put in that work. Hmm. Feeling very abundant. And then you're soft in the energy. You're letting things come to you at this time. Let's do your past, present, and future with the tarot of the divine. Ooh, okay. You already got one. Let me get two more for Libra. Ooh. So, YouTube Let me get two more for Libra, please. Okay. Let me get one more for Libra. So in your past, you have judgment. Look at Wukong. 
Currently you have the devil. And then last you have the six of swords in reverse. Okay, judgment, that's your energy. But I feel like in the past you've done a lot of observation. But it's it's hard to I'm channeling in an energy that I don't want to tap into, but I just foresaw something from like my past with certain Libras in my life that are no longer in my life. But at some point, do you ever, Libra, experience thinking outside of yourself? Like, you think sometimes you know what's best based off of your experiences, but you don't really know for sure how this story is going to pan out for the person that you're judging. I, again, I don't feel like you were trying to be nitpicky. I don't think you were trying to be controlling. Like, that wasn't necessarily your intention. But there's... Hmm. I'm going to have to clarify that one to see more of it. <clears throat> I feel like deep down you feel like you'll be rewarded for saying something or doing something. And sometimes you insert yourself trying to... Maybe not people please overall, but you, you, your love language is I would want somebody to do this for me. So you go and do the thing, but be aware of other people's boundaries. Like my grandma's leaver. Sometimes she comes to my room, she'll do my laundry, she'll cook and, you know, rearrange things. And I come home and I'm fussing because I don't know where this is. And now I got to ask 3000 questions. And then I'm like, bruh, this is why I kind of want my own space. But at the same time, I do appreciate the fact that she does take the time to think about me. It's just at times I'm like, can you mess with your own stuff if you had nothing better to do? Like, I kind of like my chaos as it is. But, you know, it is what it is. All right? So, in that endeavor, what I'm saying to you is just be aware that just because you're being... You, you are being thoughtful. It's not to say you're not. But some people, while they do appreciate you, your effort might be aggravating to certain people now the devil there's a habit that you gotta break you know what it is it could be substance abuse it could be gossiping it could be avoiding responsibility it could be engaging in reckless behavior all types of whatever you know you need to work on there's a habit that is very toxic and it's starting to affect the people around you like it's a snake that's on fire so any of these trees that catches a blaze look like it starts with one hold on um i just had uh in the end like by lincoln park in my head in the end it doesn't even matter okay uh but no i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be serious honestly the devil is staring you right in the face tempting you some of you may have gone cold turkey with something, but others of you, you know something that you've been doing needs to stop. When you get bored, Spirit's telling me to tell you this, when you get bored, really pay attention to how you start acting when you're bored versus when you make a plan to have something to do. When you have like, like a, a plan for the day or for the next couple of months, cool. But when you feel yourself getting bored really observe how you start acting because it could be you you keep trying to like some people like a little chaos even though you know someone might have told you like can you not do that and you just do it anyway later on maybe not immediately that's not an apology it's lack of change behavior you know and there i feel like again the devil staring you staring you in the face so it could be there's a threat that something or someone may walk away from you if this isn't handled with that six of swords right there refusing to move forward holding yourself back thinking about the past staying in the past not allowing change but also not making a plan for it mm. yeah the future it's like it's like you're telling yourself you don't deserve something or you don't want to make the effort. Even though you tell other people externally, oh, I'm sorry, you know what, yeah, I'll be more thoughtful of that. Or, oh, my bad, I, I, I clearly wasn't thinking when I did that. Or, oh, yeah, no, I must've, that must have slipped my mind. 
enough times of that Libra and people are just like, you know what? You don't care. I don't care what more you have to say, but hey. But you know what? If you if you do care and you want to make a change, you don't want to lose people. I'm not saying you got to do everything somebody else wants to do, but like there's got to be some level of balance. Okay, we're going to clarify with the Disney Villains Tarot deck here. All right. The cars were like, no, take me, take me, take me. So here we go. Okay, so in the past, you have the sun over judgment. Currently, you have judgment in reverse over the devil. And then last, you have the tower over the six of swords in reverse. I feel like my Libra watchers are gonna just get sick of me because damn, I can never give y'all like a happy ending or nothing like that. It's always like, bro, you need to work on yourself. Like I'm trying here, but like, hey. Okay, so the sun over judgment. Yeah, you've been feeling blessed. You've been feeling like it's your opportunity to be able to speak authority or act on authority. You could be an elder sibling. You could be the eldest in your work environment or in your friend group some of you just feel like it's your job to take care of others or to help them perceive things in a different aspect you are very wise libra you know you are the scales you like to balance things but there's an imbalance of coming off like a hypocrite this is pretty much what that is like you can't tell somebody they need to stop smoking cigarettes but here you are eating mcdonald's and nothing else so, oh, I'm worried about your health. Well, are you? <laughs> you know, just because something might might be more detrimental doesn't mean that these pathways don't lead down the same road. It's just an example. I mean, like, or, hey, I don't like when you gossip about people, but then you tell this person's business to everybody because, oh, I'm concerned or, oh, I'm just, you know, mentioning them. But there's a lot of power in the words that you exchange on another person's behalf. Some people don't want other people to know what's going on with them. There's a lot of, well, these, this is actually why some Libras aren't friends with me anymore, or why I'm not friends with them, I should say, is because they would talk a lot about the things that were in my life, and I'm like, I don't want everybody to know that. I'm just telling you. Oh, well, I mean, I brought it up because we were just talking about you anyways, and I'm like, but that's still not something that you get to share with everybody. Next thing you know, I start to get this, and this person's like, is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just really irritated, you know? And then... It's like I, I'm just trying to focus and not worry about anything. And then here you go in my ear, like still, it's like you, you know, you're, it's coming off like you're looking for more things to talk about to other people when I'm not there. Be aware of that, Libra. I mean, I've been that person in the past. Like, I, and I'm like, I, I don't see anything wrong with being honest or just, I mean, you know, but, but to be fair, I didn't like it when somebody did it to me. And I'm like, hey, some of the stuff that I talked to you about, it is going to make me look shady or messy or whatever. And, like, I'm only telling you because I just needed somebody to talk to, just to talk to about life. But then eventually I got irritated with, like, you know what? Um, sometimes, you know, we'd be on the phone and this person would just sit there not saying anything. And the whole time they're typing, I'm like, what's going on? Oh, you know, like, I'm just going to, like... I'm helping out another person and they're telling that person my, it, it, you know, it's a little spiral of shit. So yeah, like if you want people to work on themselves in your presence, then you got to work on yourself too. Like just understand that there are boundaries are meant to be upheld. You don't get to decide like, well, um, if you can't handle this, then, um, I shouldn't have to stop. You should, but if I'm going to have to change something, you have to change something in return. If it wasn't a problem before, why are you bringing it up now? That's manipulation. Last, we have the tower over the six of swords in reverse. Um, you have to let go of the past. You don't belong there anymore, and you can't take it to the future with you. You can only take what you've learned, but stop taking it out on other people stop being in denial like this is kind of similar to the reading i gave you before because literally everything that you've built thus far it's it's crumbling down 
the armor, the mask, the wall. It's time to build something new. And that's the whole reason you're watching this reading. It's not to come down on you. It's just, hey, you're looking for advice. There's something that propelled you to want to click this. And here you are being told, you know what? Not a lot of people know I need to do what Mirage said. But at the same time, she did say something worth hearing. Let me take that into account. Spirituality isn't this happy rainbow butterfly poppies in the field you know vacation where okay i'm one with the universe and everything is happy it's also needing to do some heavy duty self-accountability you, you got to work on yourself there's some shadow work that needs to be done you, you also got to clean up some messes messes that you don't want anybody to know that you made but i mean you don't have to tell everybody everything it's your experience right so Libra, with that, just just do your best. Your version of what's best. Be who you want to be. Be the person that you imagine yourself to be. Be that person now. Stop waiting for the opportune moment to show it off because people know when you're faking it. All right, Libra, that has been your reading. If it resonated, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Get that community tab some love. If it didn't resonate, that's totally okay. Maybe this just meant for another Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. But I do believe in free will, as should you. So if it doesn't fit, don't force it. You're not Cinderella. <clears throat> if you would like to follow me on other forms of social media, my all my links is down below in the description box, as well as other ways to support this channel. If this is our last time seeing each other, I wish you well on your journey. Be safe and walk with love. I enjoyed having you <laughs> if you plan to come back well thank you you're always welcome to stay and if you're not well you're always welcome to come back but hopefully I will see you in a, another reading or a vlog here to come soon there's not much more to add I just want to say thank you guys for all of your support we are this many people away from 200 subscribers yay if I can get there I'm going to brag about it the whole cruise where I'd be like, bruh, I got 200 followers and subscribers on my YouTube, hey. And then let's see where it goes when I come back. Maybe it'll evolve as the seasons go on. That's why I'm doing this. I'm being told to, so, hey. But once again, I love you guys. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.